Let us build a production building. Presidente, you are like a good... Welcome to the third tutorial. It will teach you how to advance to the next era, create a constitution, keep your people happy, and deal with... Tropico is currently in the colonial era. We are subject to the whims of the crown, and you will be removed from office when your mandate, indicated above the minimap, ex... Two political factors are active in Tropico during the colonial era, the royalists and the revolutionaries. Other factions such as the militarists, the religious, the communists and the capitalists become prominent in later eras. As you saw in the Almanac, the progressive revolutionaries are on your side while the royalists oppose you, just as they oppose the idea of an independent tropical. Good job! By meeting the revolutionaries' demands, we w
if Tropico stays in the colonial era too long, your mandate will end, and a new governor will take your place. Presidente! Ooh, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> governor! His Majesty is most amused by your declaration. Tropicans, it's me, Lulu, your radio host, with a very short message. Come join me at the Jolly Roger Beach Bar. Don't just sit there and listen to some boring old radio. Come out, come out, and live it up. The weather is fine and the sea fantastical. Time for fiesta, people! Free Tropico is ready for its very own constitution, Presidente. Each era features several foreign powers. become so bad that I now declare us finally free of the harmful influence of modern medicine. No more compulsory inoculations, no more tracking chips in our dental fillings, no more physician's oath keeping the cute doctors from dating you. Who cares about health care anyway? Our embassy is ready. Time to invite a foreign power to our island. You have invited the Allies onto the island. This will strengthen our relationship. Elections are coming, Presidente. No dictator likes them, but they are usually the better alternative to uprisings and military coups. Elections are coming, Presidente.
As our constitution dictates, we have scheduled mandatory elections for 12 months from now. Let me direct your attention to another important edict, the sovereign debt. As election day draws near, it may be a good idea to check to see how happy your people are. This low happiness values indicate that the Tropicans are not happy with certain aspects of their life on the island, such as the lack of entertainment. Let us build a tavern to address this. Let me explain how service buildings such as our tavern work. The tavern provides people living in the vicinity with entertainment, thus increasing their happiness. Why do we need clinics? Just grow a pair, people. I once had a whole sea urchin stuck in my foot. But did I go to clinic? No! Then, when an over-friendly llama attacked me while I was removing the urchin and I had to fight it off, did I go to clinic like a crybaby? No! And when I finally had to run across the entire island after the llama came back with his friends in stilettos? No, I just went to my secret rum stash and drank it all. Like old Tropicans should, instead of going to a clinic like a bunch of pansies! The elections are coming, Presidente. No dictator likes them, but they are usually... Welcome to the third tutorial. It will teach you how...
Elections are coming, Presidente. No dictator likes them, but they are usually the better alternative to uprisings and... We have an opportunity to influence the outcome of coming elections. Strictly speaking, this is not considered exactly legal, but I guarantee that no one will find out. A shout out to the Tropican police who just got a new... The election results are in. Let me be the first to congratulate you, Presidente. Congratulations! You followed all the steps and won the tutorial. Not that that's especially hard to do, but hey! A victory is still a victory! Thank <laughs> you.